Getting to the Olympics takes a lot of work for an athlete, but often the equipment that they use plays a big role as well. And that's true when it comes to the relatively new Olympic sport of climbing. Let's bring in our man in Paris, Matt Renew, covering the games. And Matt, the U.S. climbers are using a harness that is one of the lightest in the world and also one of the strongest. You're right, Kyle and Kim. Good evening. You know, this is pretty cool because when most of us are watching sport climbing, we're watching the athletes and not really focused on the harnesses that lead and speed climbers are using, but it's an important piece of equipment that's being designed and tested in labs right next door to Colorado and are unlike anything else out there. At Black Diamond headquarters in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's where we make all the toys for climbing. Derek Gustafson. I'm Derek Gustafson. I'm the category director for Climb. Says their teams putting climbing gear used by Team USA athletes. Everything that we create starts here. We design it, we test it. To the test. So this is one of the CE tests that we need to um, perform on all harnesses. With quality testing engineer Matt Berry loading up the company's AirNet harness. In this particular test, we're gonna be loading this harness to 15 kilonewtons, or about 3,372 pounds. Then, with thousands of pounds of weight, we will start her off if you guys are ready. Putting it to the test for safety in dramatic fashion. Popping the steel carabiner long before the harness breaks. The actual carabiner that was used to uh, held the dummy up in the Instron is actually what failed. With a harness that's been designed to hold a climber if they fall. Loads that, that go into the testing of the harness are enormous. You know, like you could you can hang a truck from one of these harnesses. Um, a lot of the inspiration came from like net structures where and you And it's get, gone like, through several ability. design yeah, changes. So these are some of the early prototypes from our air net harness. That Before becoming one of the world's lightest and strongest, which is important to elite athletes. When you're climbing, obviously you're, you're moving up the wall and any weight that you need to carry, you know, beyond uh, your muscles that are sort of propelling you up the wall is, is going to make it harder. And so we work to make this harness um, as light as possible. Because while anyone can buy this harness in a store, it's also the harness U.S. athletes are wearing when they compete at the Olympics in Paris. This Olympic thing has brought some real visibility to it, which is super cool. And Derek says is a great way to very literally support U.S. athletes. Our gear is only in support of the activity. So in the sport climbing, there are three categories, lead, speed, and bouldering. You really only use those harnesses in speed and lead because the athletes are getting so high up the wall in bouldering, they're a little bit closer to the mats and don't use them. Although I still would. Reporting from the 2024 Olympics in Paris, Kyle and uh, you know, Kim, this is a, a really important piece of equipment for these athletes, for U.S. athletes to use it, to have those light harnesses to get up the wall a little bit faster. And Colorado is represented by three amazing athletes with Colin Duffy, Brooke Rabatu, and Natalia Grossman, who went to school in Boulder. So big deal in Colorado to watch climbing. Yes, indeed. And now we know the story behind the harnesses. Yeah. That's very cool. Supported. Supported. Yeah. That's what we yeah. want. Take one for everyday use, if not for the chafing. <laughs> All right, Matt Renew, thank you.